for a long time. I don't know what your need is, friends. But this Christmas, it would be tragic if you came to God's presence. His presence is right here. And you left exactly the way you came. So right now, I'm going to ask every person here, please honor the privacy of the person next to you to keep your eyes closed. Yes, whether you I hear just as a formality or whether you are here because you want to be here, I beg of you keep your eyes closed in God's holy presence. And if you are here with a need, your heart is burdened with guilt and you want to know what forgiveness is, cleansing is. If you're looking to the future with anxiety and fear, a pastor told us this is this is a very common ailment of the 21st century. Whether you have a sickness, I'm going to ask the pastors who are here to come onto the platform very quickly without any delay. Pastors, spouses who are here, and I'm going to ask you to stretch your hands out to this towards the congregation right now. All of the pastors, come quickly, please. Every head bowed, every eye closed. We will not make this long because God's presence is here. And when God's presence is here, His power is also here. And right now, if you have come on this Christmas day to God's presence, God's house, with a need, if you will lift your right hand in faith, let me say it again. Lift your right hand in faith. As we pray, the pastors are stretching our hands towards you. And we're going to pray. Just spread out across the platform, pastors. Yes, and stretch out. Stretch out to the balcony. Stretch out to people at the back as far as your heart is able to reach right now. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to pray right now for every hand that is raised. Please, let me say it again. If you have a need, raise your hand in God's presence. If you are able to do that in faith. It's not the magic that we have, not a mantra that I'm going to pronounce, but the presence of Jesus who is walking in our midst this morning. He's walking through every, down every eye. He's walking through every person's, every single pew. Yes, he's right there by his Holy Spirit. And if you reach out in faith as I pray the short, simple prayer, he's going to touch you at the point of your need. Yes. Wherever you are, I want you to begin to pray. Every believer who is here, if there's a person next to you with the hand uh, raised high, I want you to just gently pray for them. In your own words, yes, begin to pray. Everyone in this auditorium, begin to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Even as we worship you, and even as your word has been spoken, Lord, we believe the power of your presence is here. Lord, the baby who was born in a manger in Jerusalem, in Bethlehem 2,000 years ago, is no longer, Lord, still a baby. That baby grew up and walked the face of the earth, went about doing good, healing all manner of disease. Lord, he spoke words that no one had ever heard before. Lord, he went on the, you, you went on the cross of Calvary, poured out your precious blood for the sins of the world. You bore stripes on your back so we may be healed. Lord, you rose again again on the third day to demonstrate your power the power of your love and right now because you are here by your Holy Spirit we ask that your, the power of your love will touch every single need that is indicated by the outstretched hand in the name of Jesus in the name of the babe of Bethlehem who is now the risen Lord and Savior we speak healing to every sick body right now in Jesus name Lord whether the person is here or whether the family member is away from this place right now we speak the word of healing in Jesus name right now be healed be healed in Jesus name whether the problem is in your head whether the problem is in your heart, whether the problem is in your back, the problem is in your limbs, in Jesus' name, we command those tumors to be dissolved. We command diabetes to be healed. We ask in Jesus' name for heart trouble. Lord, in Jesus' name to be healed right now. 
Thank you, Lord. You've heard our prayer. Whatever be the disease, disease has to yield to the mighty name of Jesus the healer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to thank God. If that has been your prayer, thank you right now. And Father, for the heart that has come burdened with guilt, let her, let him know right now the cleansing power of the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If we confess our sins, the word of God promises he is faithful and just to forgive and to cleanse you, my sister, to cleanse you, my brother, from the past. When he wiped, when you confess your sins to Jesus, he will clean the slate of your life and make it perfect. Thank you, Jesus. Let's thank him for healing. Uh, th let's thank him for forgiveness of sins. Hallelujah. Father, right now, there are some people in this place who are looking to the future. Who, Lord, they are afraid to step into 2024 because they are afraid of an uncertain future. But some of them are jobless. Some of them don't know, Lord, how they're going to pay their bills. Right now, we ask the star of Christmas. Jesus, the hope of Christmas. Shine into the darkness of their lives. They begin to believe you for a miracle that begins right now in Jesus name release the miracle that they need right now thank you Jesus so father once and for all we pray for all the powers of evil every demonic force that may have touched any family that is represented here right now we command you Satan to take your filthy hands of every family member who is here Lord, let the, let the power of God go into homes. Let the power of God sweep into families right now. That may they receive this Christmas, the greatest Christmas gift of all, the presence of Jesus invade every home according to the promise of your word that your servant has proclaimed to us this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Will you lift your hands one more time and thank him? And for the last time, let's sing. Come, let us adore. Worthy, worthy, worthy. beautiful music thank you for your servant who brought your word with such clarity authority and power thank you most of all for the sweet touch of your presence that all of us have experienced lord we go from this place as those whose hearts have been filled to overflowing with the joy to the world that the first christmas promise and we go out lord different than the way we came and we go, Lord, to share the good news of Christmas, to share the joy, to share the healing, to share the deliverance, to share the good news of Christmas with everyone we come into contact with. We give you thanks. We give you praise. In the precious and mighty name of Jesus, all God's people say, Amen. 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 That's it, Jeff. Go ahead, put your hands together. And even if you do one more closing song, feel free to shake hands, wish one another.